Hello everyone, how are you today? You can see on my screen, this is my website linkconverto.com and I have already installed the all-in-one video downloader WordPress theme on this website but now this website is not working. I don't know what is the reason so I'm going to fix this. I'm going to reinstall this WordPress theme. So in today's video, we will discuss the how can we install all-in-one video downloader WordPress theme in our cPanel. So without wasting time, let's join this session. Hello everyone, I'm Siddharth and I'm your friend. So first of all, we will delete all my files uh, so that I can work from zero. So now I will let you know every step to follow. So don't miss any of it, otherwise you will not be liable to do it. So step one is to download your theme from codecanon.net and now extract this file to your desktop. You can see all files inside this folder, which is documentation and files folder. In files folder, you will find theme and plugin zip file and in your documentation file, all documentation are there to follow. So you can check all the documents as well so it will be easy for you to install this WordPress theme. Step 2 is to install WordPress into your cPanel. This will take some time to happen so I'm skipping this part. Now you can see my WordPress is installed successfully. Now I'm going to log into my WordPress. Now I'm in my WordPress dashboard and I'm going to click on my website how it looks like. So you can see now my website is looking like this. So now we have to upload our all-in-one video downloader theme into it. So now locate to appearance and theme section. Just click on it and click on the add new option and here upload your theme which one you downloaded from the codecanyon.net. This will take some time to I'm skipping this part. Now you can see my theme is uploaded. Now we have to activate this theme as well. Now theme is activated. Now we have to install all necessary plugins as well. So now locate to plugin and add new plugin option. Just simple click on upload plugin option and here choose your plugin zip file and just simple install this. Now the plugin is uploaded successfully. Now we have to activate this plugin also. So now we will need some more plugins. Just simple click on the add new option here and you can find the search plugin option here. Just simply search here polylang and the first First plugin you have to install. Just now activate this plugin as well. Now this will ask you some details like in which language you want your website. So I'm going to select this English. I'm going with E and JB. So just click on the add new language here and just continue. Now just simple click on continue option and again continue option and now return to dashboard option. And now take a look on your website. Just simply refresh our website. Now you can see our website is looking like this because we haven't set up our video download settings. So just simple click on it. And now first of all, we have to verify our license. So simply uh, click on license option. Put your name here, like uh, my name is my email, my purchase code. And you can see here is the registration code option and the activation code option. So this is saying the click to get it. So I'm going to click and this will open a other page to activate a license option. So here you have to paste your registration code. So I'm going to save my settings. And after save my settings, I will get my registration code here. So here is my registration code. Just simple copy this code and paste here. Activate. Now copy this link from here and just paste this code here and just save this setting. Now our license panel has been set up. Now let's check out your website. How this looking like. Now you can see your website is looking fine. Now we have to add a menu here in the header menu in the footer and we will also change the logo of this website. So how can we do this? So for this, you have to come again to your WordPress dashboard panel. Now, first of all, we will add a menu. So for this in appearance and in menu section and in the menu section, you can add here links like uh, Let's create a menu first. Like I will give a name primary. Primary. Now we will create some links by custom links. Hash. Test. Hash. Terms. You can give your link here. I'm going with hash just for testing purpose. Or you can also create some pages like uh, sample pages already created. So if you choose this, then add to menu this, then this page will be added to this section. Or also you can add a specific post form uh, post section and the category option is also available. So for now, we already create some custom links, privacy and enter. Now you can see we have created three links. And here you can see another option is appearing under menu settings and you have to choose one of these. You can choose mobile English also. You can choose footer English also. I'm choosing all, but you can go with a specific one and you can create multiple menus for a specific category from here. Now just uh, save the menu and uh, refresh your website. Now you can see a menu is appearing in the header and in the footer also. And if you inspect this in a mobile section, this then menu is also coming here okay so now we will change the logo of this website so for this come again to your wordpress panel 
and here uh, another option of customize section in the appearance just right click and open link in a new tab you can also go from here uh, this option is coming customize in the site identity option you can change your site icon from here and you can also change your logo from here so, so select your logo select files i'm going any of logo just uh, uploading my second logo i have uploaded my logo just to select this you can crop your logo or you can also skip your logo from here just to script cropping and you can see i have set up my logo from here you can give your site identity from here and you can give a tagline i'm giving the second name and you can also choose your site icon just uh, a fabicon icon from here and you can also change your favicon icon just this is the favicon icon option uh, select site icon upload this has to be square then select skip cropping and you can see a uh, site icon is appearing here this is looking good now publish your website and again refresh your website now you can see our logos width is so high so we have to resize our logo and you can do this directly editing your logo from your uh, wordpress dashboard uh, for this you have to go in your media section and into your media you have to select your logo and here is the edit image option so click on this and here is the new dimension option you have to select your dimensions i'm giving uh, 200 and just kill it and refresh your website now you can see our logo is looking fine now we have to assign some uh, direct links here so for this we have to go in our video download settings first of all we have to assign some permissions for this website so first of all this is asking show m4a as mp4 so if you enable this youtube videos will be shown with mp3 extensions also so click on this this is mandatory hide dash videos if you enable this youtube video without sound will be hidden then if you want you can select this otherwise you can go also without this now another permission is bandwidth saving mode if you're using a vps server with 4 gb ram or 8 gb ram then this setting is not for you or you are a shared hosting user or cloud hosting user then you have to select these settings otherwise your website will take so much time to load and this will affect your website traffic and your earning also or you are planning to move a vps server then i am recommending you to use contabo contabo provides provides cheap speedy and secure virtual servers there are so much types of servers available but you have to choose only cloud vps server but now we will go only with the cloud vps servers and here you can see a button view all cloud vps server is coming here so just simple click on this button and here are multiple services available in the vps server so contabo's minimum vps server price is 6.99 per month so we will go with this 6.99 per month or you can choose 11.99 19.99 or 34.99 per month if you are a business then you can go one of these three or you are individual then i will recommend you to to select only this so just select this and now you can see multiple types of options are coming but don't select any of these just come here and in the image section you have to choose which server you want to work on i mostly use ubuntu then you can select your ubuntu version ubuntu 20.04 and 18.04 is available only ubuntu 20.04 is the stable version of the ubuntu and this is using php 7.4 and ubuntu 18.04 is using php 7.2 so i will recommend you to only choose ubuntu 20.04 and after selecting your server come here and the username is root just create your root password here and leave everything as it is and just click on next option just create a password okay then next option then this will redirect you to another page which is uh, register or login so you have to create a contabo account here or you can also select i am a contabo customer option if you are already a customer of contabo so this is a simple form you have to select your status you are an individual or a business you have to enter your first name last name address city postcode country telephone email and confirm email and yes and next okay after registration you have to select a payment method and there you have to pay 13.98 dollars from your credit card debit card any else which you select contabo will take one to two hours to set up your server and this is the first time you have to pay only 6.99 and this is the one time setup fee only after this month you will only charge 6.99 dollar but you have to pay 6.99 extra for your one time setup fee and the another permission is enable recaptcha before enabling this be sure you have added a uh, google recaptcha api keys on api section and this is the api key section here another permission is latest downloads if you enable this latest download videos uh, will be recorded in the database this is completely on you you want to select or you want to not then another option 
option is latest download count 10 videos will be there on your home page which will be latest downloaded from your website and the another permission is download timer this is the download timer you can give your users a countdown option for video or audio download so you can choose 10 seconds you can choose 30 seconds or you can choose 60 seconds for this also this option will help your website to increase your session time or decrease bounce rate of your website and the another setting is show fix for file names like the name which you type here like i type link converto and the file which you downloaded then the link converto and the file name will merge and the new name will be converted like link converto slash and the video name so this option will work like this so just save your settings here and after save your settings just to move to uh, api keys here you have to create your facebook cookies this is the simple link click to uh, learn how to find and the another is instagram cookies paste to instagram cookies option is also available here soundcloud api keys you can put your soundcloud api key recapture version 3 and the tracking code you have to fill google analytics code here so after filling all these details just save settings here now let's move to appearance section you have to select all these options and you can also choose your uh, logo height you can also give your username of facebook twitter youtube and instagram you can also write your code for your home page in html form after that just click on the save settings for save your settings and after appearance just move to uh, downloaders option you have to give a specific slug for every downloader like 9 gag for 9 gag akili tv akili tv you have to give all these names but i have given three names just for testing purpose after that you can save your settings just filling all these details and now take a look of your website you can find your website like this guys this is the fixed layout of your all-in-one video downloader theme but if you want you can also customize your uh, wordpress theme like this but you can also customize or change your theme design if you know a little bit about html or php if you don't know about it how to change your wordpress theme or a php script theme then you can wait some time because we are working on this we are designing separate themes for wordpress or php scripts we are already working on this so you have to wait for this and i swear this will help you out so guys this is enough for today because these are the settings which is not mandatory so if you like this video then hit the like button and if you are new to this channel then punch the subscribe button or kick the notification bell icon for the latest updates of this channel so guys see you soon till then goodbye tata take care